We've spoken about how your data is growing and valuable, but it also retains. Everything you do online is monitored by multiple sources. Advertisers link to your Alexa, Google Home, cell phone, internet traffic, and credit card purchases to build a digital profile of who you are. Internet service providers keep track of, share, and retain all your search history, even if you delete it off your computer. And last but not least, the government does the same with internet and text. This is like a footprint in the sand that matches you and only you. Many sources are collecting and sharing data very specific to you, and you'd be shocked about what they know about you or what they can learn by general searches, purchases, views, likes, and habits. We have to be more sensitive in regards to what we do online. Like I said, clearing your history really does nothing. It's recoverable from both your actual device and multiple other sources that are tracking you. Doing something inappropriate or dangerous can be very hard to change. Even something as simple as your passionate post on social media could come back to bite you and may still be viewable even if you delete the post. Everything you do stays online. Everything. Mitigating your online profile and exposure can be long and costly. Think about that the next time you access a website, share your thoughts on a post, or do your next search online. To be anonymous online takes more resources and skill than you likely have, and your efforts to do so are likely in vain. I'm sure that nobody out of the thousands of people watching these videos are actually hiding anything, even if you're trying. Even skilled hackers have to work very hard to keep themselves anonymous, and it's simply outside the scope skill and resources of the average person. We have to change the way we look at the internet. It's a great resource and has expanded our access to knowledge like no time in history, but you have to be your own brand manager. You have a brand and the things you do hurt that brand or help it. Monitor yourself. It may be impossible to completely remove the things from the web, but the sooner you detect a problem, the faster you can resolve it in a way that doesn't negatively affect you. There are many services you can use to check for account compromises. Oftentimes, hackers will have access to your accounts and you'll never be aware that they're there. And that's the way they like it. There are both free and paid ways to monitor your digital footprint, and I recommend that you take advantage of these. Repairing a damaged reputation can be hard and in some cases impossible to fully mitigate. Like we said earlier, the sooner you get it, the better. A few things you can do is to take measures to lock down your accounts, such as implementing multi-factor authentication, as well as other things. Delete old accounts. Lots of times, accounts that are used for years are the most compromised. Since you don't log in, you often don't realize they've even been compromised. I had a friend that didn't log into Facebook for years. When they did finally log back in just to kind of update people and see what was going on, they realized that someone else had hijacked their account, was impersonating them, and was hurting their reputation. Anytime you think you've been compromised, you should always report it to multiple authorities. Again, please don't hide this. You want to know what's going on in your digital world before others do. To close out this section, I think it's important to reiterate that hackers, advertisers, and other people have a vested interest in knowing more about who you are. Hackers care about your social media posts, YouTube views, search history, and other things because they want to understand you. By doing so, it helps them exploit you and the ones you love. This is just a quick slide to reiterate the point that your digital footprint lasts. I don't know who these people are, but they posted some compromising pictures of themselves on social media, and now the world can find them. Imagine you were interviewing and found these pictures on one of your candidates. What would you think? How would they represent your organization? This would not be the first impression that you would want to leave with someone you've never met. This is where social media with all of its benefits can be very destructive to your organization as well.